Hi again, Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I want to talk to you about the Mega Menu. It's one of the many navigation features you can use to design your website with. Now, what's unique about the Mega Menu is while it is under the navigation category, the Mega Menu is also a jQuery object. And that matters for those of you who were working with jQuery tools, which is down here, the jQuery accordion, the jQuery buttons, things like that. Um, you'll understand what I mean by this being a jQuery object. So for example, this jQuery tabs object is something that I'm using on my page right now. That's what you're seeing here where it says our products and services and contact and support. This is a jQuery object. Now why does that matter? Well, the reason why that matters is when you work with this particular object in the navigation category, it being a jQuery object means that it's going to pick up its look from the page's jQuery theme, because that's how jQuery works. All of the jQuery objects on the page pick up their look, meaning the color and the layout, from the theme. So let's grab a mega menu and just draw a box up here. And you can see that it gives me this default starting mega menu, which of course we're going to edit. But you'll notice it has these little red buttons. Well, the reason why they're red is because that's part of the theme of this page. I'm gonna go up here to page, page properties, and bring up the style tab for this page and you'll see that the jQuery theme for this page meaning the thing that will apply to all jQuery objects is one I've chosen called Blitzer of course you can change that here or you can go to the theme manager and pick one or make your own you'll see that in other video tutorials about jQuery but in this case I want you to know that the mega menu is also a jQuery object and so it's going to pick up these colors now that doesn't mean I can't edit it I can do an enormous number of things to this object and make it look the way I want to the mega menu starts you off with with three buttons and really these are a demonstration of just some of the things that it does and before I even double click and start editing it let me just show you what it looks like in the default mode I'm gonna click F5 so that we can preview the page and you'll see that it works just like you would imagine you hover over it except watch what happens you'll start to see why they call it a mega menu because it can have so many objects in category so the first button is kind of a demonstration of one of the uses of the mega menu this happens to be demonstrating a four column use of mega menus so where each column is a category of course you would name them whatever you want you wouldn't call them category one two three four you call them whatever you want and then under these categories can be a number of links any number of links you want and then these would link to whatever you whatever page or website you're linking to again this is just a sample or a demo button two demos another type of layout you can have in the mega menu and this is a single column with multiple categories and again you can have as many or as few categories as you want and as many or as few links as you want under these categories just gives you an example button three gives you a third example of what you can use in sort of a block style here again we have four categories but they're laid out in sort of a uh, two by two method you can just see these are just some of the reasons they call it a mega menu because it's a menu that can be broken up into its own hierarchy and laid out in multiple ways okay let me stop the preview so we can go behind the scenes and look at how to work with a mega menu I'm gonna double click on it and as you can see it gives us our three buttons before we start editing these let me talk to you about the overall style of the mega menu and that's under the style tab Again, that's different than the jQuery theme where it's picking up its colors. It's the style tab that lets me adjust some of the basic things like obvious things like the font that I'm going to use. In my case, I'm using Arial Bold 10. Let's add a little animation to that and call it Fade. You can adjust the padding of the buttons with these numbers, meaning how they're spaced out. Even the icon that's next to the wording of the buttons can be changed here. I have a down arrow. There are a plethora of icons. I can't even begin to tell you. In fact, I don't even know how many are in this list. I'd have to go look it up. But there are so many different kinds of icons and things you can put next to your buttons. You'll have to play with that. I'm going to leave my default for now. How far that icon shows or how far it's offset is set with this number. The default's negative four, but you can adjust this and move that icon uh, whichever direction you want. And the same is true for the submenus. Again, the padding of the buttons and the wording, the icons that show next to it, and same is true for the links. So I'm not going to change any of these because the configurations are endless, and that's something you'll be able to figure out and play with. If you want to change the look of the text, this is where you would do that. Okay, for now, I'll leave that because there's something actually even more interesting, frankly, and that is how these buttons are laid out. So let's look at 
button style number one. Now remember, it gave us a demonstration of that uh, certain layout. So I'm going to click on the edit link and I'll show you what it is. So button number one right now is using a menu layout called columns only. And so here's where we would edit those columns. If I click on this, obviously I wouldn't want to call it category one. So I would edit this and turn it to something else. This is a category. That's different than a link. If I click on this and go edit, I now bring up what I want to call this link. So I would change the text here and then I would link this to whatever I want to link it to an external website or a page in this project and all of the other linking attributes that you have. You can even use the target frame function with these links. So you don't have to have four categories and four links. Again, this is just a demonstration and you don't have to use the columns only layout. Again, there are so many different things you can do that you'll have hours of fun figuring it out because it's just, it's really, really easy to configure. Here's another thing. The menu layout that we're using here is columns only, but here's one that's called rows only. So if we just chose the rows only layout, it would change. Let's change button one to rows only. We'll click OK, click OK again, click F5 so we can see what that looks like so that when we hover over button one, you see it gives us this single column or a number of rows. In other words, we did the same thing with button one that we had in button two. That's what that is right there. That's the rows only effect. But there are more, as you can imagine. So we're going to double click on this, go back to button one and edit this. Let's change it to another one where we had the two column effect. I'll click on two columns. We'll click OK. Click OK again. Let's do an F5 and see what that one looks like. So now button number one gives us the two column effect. That was the four by four, or the two by two that we talked about. So basically we just had button one do what's being demonstrated in button number three now. That's how easy it is to change that. Let's go back and look at a few more though, because there are some that you haven't seen yet. I'm gonna double click on the object. Again, we're gonna edit button number one and let's change this to three columns. Three columns allows it to look a little bit different. We'll click okay. F5 again. Let's see what the three column effect does. And you can see it gives us a three column effect. Now because we have four categories, it doesn't fill out very well. So we, you would only want to use a three column effect if you had three categories or maybe six categories or nine categories, etc. The point is it gives you the ability to lay that out the way you want to. I think you get the idea that we can go through and pick all of these different effects. I want to show you something a little bit unique though. We're going to click on edit again and the four column effect, you can imagine what that looks like. Let's look at the simple menu though. Simple menu does this. It basically doesn't have categories. It just has all links. So if we chose this one, we aren't going to see any categories. We're just going to see a simple menu where it has, where we hover over the button and all of the links will show. And in this case, we have a bunch of them. So again, you would edit these, you can remove these and you can scale it down to what it, what you want it to say. The text, let me move this over. You'll see here to edit one of these, we would do the obvious, make it say what you want it to say, make it link to where you want it to link. And then that would be one of your links. So a simple menu doesn't show categories. When we click on OK, F5, and hover over the button now, you'll see that there won't be categories. It just is all of these links. Just the text will show. And when the user clicks on this text, it would take them to the link that we linked that text to. One more thing I want to show you, and then uh, I'll let you play with this because it's really kind of fun because it does so many things. The other one is uh, button only. So this is even simpler. In this case, the button itself would be the link. So if you wanted to have a button that does not produce a sub menu, no categories, no links at all, the button itself is the link. So here we would obviously call the button whatever we want to call it and we would then link it to wherever we wanted to link it. In this case, there'll be no pull down. So if we call this, I'll just stick with the theme, we'll call it 90 Second Website Builder and we'll link it to that website. In fact, remember when you're creating an external link, this pull down remembers your most recent one. So let's pull one here. We'll link it to the videos page. Click OK and click OK again. And now you'll see that this actually changed, of course. I'm going to click F5. You'll notice that there's no little red arrow. That's because it's not going to pull down like these will. That little arrow means that when the user hovers over it, it produces a submenu. There is no submenu here. This is just the link itself. And if I were to click on this, we go to the videos page in 90 Second Website Builder. 
All right, so I realize I went through that quickly, and that's because there's so much information, but you can see that it's pretty easy to configure and work with the Mega Menu. Things to remember is that you have a number of different layouts. There's a difference between a category and a link, but it's pretty simple. Remember, you can style the text here and how that text looks, and the layout or the colors of the um, object are going to be based on that jQuery theme, which is based on the page's properties. So enjoy working with the Mega Menu. You can do a lot of things with it as you build your websites in 90 Second Website Builder.